strong values and strong opinions. The Mike Broomhead Show, KTAR News, 92.3 FM, and the KTAR News app. Hey, thanks for being here. When the news came out that the text of the Senate bill had been released and House members were saying that it's going to be dead on arrival, the defenders of this piece of legislation uh, had come out and said, uh, even the president of the United States uh, even talked about this when he spoke to the nation, that the head of the Border Patrol Union, the Border Patrol uh, Council, who endorsed Donald Trump for president, said that he is in support of this piece of legislation. So this has been a big talking point of, is this a good piece of legislation? Is it not? So to discuss the specifics and support for this is the president of the National Border Patrol Council, Brandon Judd. Brandon, welcome back. Hey, it's good to be with you. Thank you. So um, can you give us kind of an overview? What is it about this? Absolutely. Please, please go right (laughs) ahead. You've got the floor. So let's let's first talk about this uh, this talking point that everybody's using this five thousand codifies into law this five thousand that that's that's such complete crap it's not even funny let's talk about what our current law does our current law has zero cap so in the month of December our current law codified ten thousand apprehensions per day in the month of January our current law codified sixty seven hundred apprehensions per day let's talk about three days ago because the numbers are now in. Three days ago, we apprehended, we, we took, I'm sorry, we arrested 6,528 people. Of those 6,528 people, we released 6,313 of those people. Under this law, we wouldn't have been able to take into custody 6,500 people. We would have only been able to take into custody 5,000 of those people. That is a huge drop. In the month of December, we wouldn't have been able to take into, into custody 10,000 people. We would have only been able to take into custody 5,000 people. The rest that cross the border illegally, we would have just um, taken them right back and kicked them back to Mexico. So that talking point is complete junk. And everybody that uses it, they know it. They know it's junk. But unfortunately, the public isn't being educated on exactly what this bill does. The bill also, it raises the standard of credible fear. Credible fear is, the, is one of the main reasons that we have all of the releases that we have. 90% of the people that cross the border illegally, when they're given a credible fear interview, they're found to have a credible fear, which triggers a release. They're autom- they automatically get a release. Under this bill, it would have raised the credible fear to Trump level credible fears. Trump implemented two programs, HARP and PACER. Um, and under those two programs, the credible fear level raised only 20% as opposed to 90% were found to have a credible fear. But this court struck it down because they said that Trump did not have the authority to change the credible fear standard. It must be done by law. So this law, this bill, would have changed the credible fear standard. Another huge win for um, for conservatives um, and those that want border security. This bill would have also put Border Patrol agents out into the field. Right now, under our current laws, sworn officers must do the NTAs. Um, processing coordinators can't do this. Under this bill, processing coordinators could have done the NTAs, which would have allowed our agents to be in the field, go after the gotaways, stop the gotaways, stop the cartels. But right now, because we're the ones that have to do the NTAs, we're in our in the processing center all the time. We don't have our agents out in the field where they need to be. So that was also a huge win. Um, there are so many things in this bill that would have given us some some great tools that any Republican president would have had. This would have, this bill would have enhanced Republican um, president's uh, abilities to enforce. Uh, I'm sorry, to control our border. It would have handcuffed bad administrations. So the Biden administration would have been handcuffed. You know, it, the, there's also this talking point that of well, he's not going to enforce the laws anyway. Why? Why are we going to give him a, a, a law when he's not going to enforce it? Well, then why'd you pass HR2 then? What was the point in passing HR2 if he was just going to violate it? Also, that's why we have separation of powers. That's why we have the judicial system. If he violates the law, you sue him. And you make the courts come back and say, no, you're violating the law. You must do this. So that talking point gets completely and totally debunked. This idea, this idea that, well, the executive branch has the authority to do anything that the, the executive branch can shut this down right now. Well, they can, but only with the cooperation of Mexico. What happens if Mexico comes back and says, remain in Mexico? Yeah, no, no, we're not doing that anymore. In fact, even under Donald Trump, Title 42, the Mexican government came back and said, yeah, we're not taking Venezuelans. 
You can't, you can't title 42 Venezuelans. We're not taking Chinese. You can't title 42 Chinese. So the Mexican, uh, remain in Mexico, title 42, is dependent upon another government. This law takes another government out of the, I'm, I'm sorry, this bill would have taken the government, um, a, a foreign government, out of the equation. There were so many good things in this bill. And the reason that we supported it was because if you don't support it, it doesn't even see the light of day. You can't even make amendments. There were bad things in this bill, and those bad things needed to be taken out. But unless it goes to the floor for debate, you can't even offer up amendments. So what we've been saying is keep the good, get rid of the bad. But if you don't support it, it doesn't even see the light of day. So let me, and by the way, Brandon Judd is joining us. He is the president of the National Border Patrol Council. Let me just interrupt to ask a couple of questions that you may know the answer to that I don't. Uh, number one is the border shuts down automatically at 5,000. We, we understand that. But then at whose discretion and when does it reopen? Do you know that according to this legislation? Yes, yes. So o- over the next several days, it doesn't reopen until that number drops by 25%. So, so we couldn't take anybody. So if, if we continue to have 5,000 every single day, then the border never opens back up. You continue to use your, your authority to expel people immediately. And until those numbers drop back down to 3,500, it would remain closed. Okay. Another very good thing. Okay, so then the other part of that on that, um, on that uh, issue is that uh, Congressman Biggs was on the show and said that in the first year, second year, third year, it drops off on how many days the border is allowed to be closed. Is there a limit, and do you support it if there is a limit? No, I don't. That's one of the bad things, but that's that, that you go through the amendment process yeah. and you get rid of it. It should be closed the entire time, but, but again, if you don't let it see the light of day, you, don't, you, you never can get those amendments. Absolutely so you fair. You have to get it, but... But 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 again, but let's let's just let's just say that even if you didn't get those, those amendments, is it worse than what we currently have? No, that that will then remain status quo. But you still get all of the other good things in there. They, what people can't point to, people cannot point to how this bill is worse than our current laws. There's so many good things in this bill that are better than our current laws, and nobody can point to how it's. It's, it makes our current laws worse, and that's what's so frustrating to me. You know, they're, all they're holding out for is they're holding out for a perfect bill. You can't get a perfect bill in a, in a, in, in a world that you have to have bipartisan support. And I had a conversation with Congressman Biggs on the air about this, and he said that he knows you very well. He disagrees with you on, on, on parts of this. Have you had a conversation with a congressman or have any of the Republicans against this reached out to you to get your clarifications and your support? Oh, absolutely. And have, and have absolutely. they listened? A- have they listened to you and yes. been more accepting? Yes. yes, yes. In fact, in fact, I believe that they're, wor- they're, they're currently working um, right now to try to revive something. I, I, I believe it. Look, I, I've been on the Hill all day today. Um, when I say all day today, I know it's, it's early out in Arizona, um, but we're already in the afternoon um, out here in Washington, D.C. Yes, I have been speaking with an awful lot of people, and yes, they are very, very receptive to the good things, and, and we're trying to get those good things. We're, we're, we want to get those good things. Again, I'm going to say this over and over again. Keep the good, take out the bad. So then last question is on the other side of this. Have some of the the senators that put this together and some that are supporting this piece of legislation, are they listening to what you are saying are some of the bad things that need to be removed? And is is it possible that they will agree to remove some of them? I I mean, we we, we don't know. I mean, what, what I can say is that they're they're receptive they're they're talking you know we have to have the conversation first we have to continue the conversation um i can tell you 100 percent that mark kelly is 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 receptive i can tell you 100 percent that, that kirsten cinema is receptive yes those individuals have been very receptive on what the bad is now whether or not they ultimately agree to take it out i don't know but they absolutely have been receptive as far as um me being able to explain to them what the bad is did, and I, meant, I said last question, but it reminded me I didn't ask you, have you had a conversation or any correspondence with the former president who was against this, President Trump, who didn't like it? H- have you talked with him or has he reached out to you? 
I have not spoken with him on the, on this bill, and I, I seriously doubt that I will speak with him on, on this bill. Um, you know, we, we can have – I can support Donald Trump, and we can have policy disagreements. Um, that can happen. He has his reasons. Um, I don't know what those reasons are, but if he has those reasons, I'll respect those reasons, and I, I would hope that he would respect my reasons as well. My reasons are all about border security, shutting down the border. I have no political interest in this whatsoever. I have a, a complete interest in – shutting that border down yeah and you have always shown yourself to be that that is one thing that i have seen in you for as long as we've been having you on the air and i've been following your work we appreciate the time today very very much and if you don't mind we're going to continue to reach out as this moves forward to see what you think thanks man i appreciate it very much hey you have a good one you too that is brandon judd president of the national border patrol council i got to tell you uh, very convincing to me I've told you I don't have answers to these questions, and he had some very emphatic, very passionate, not perfect, get rid of some of the bad, but keep the good. I think he's on to something. I think Brandon Judd is going to be the linchpin that may get this reintroduced in some fashion and get something back and get some of the Republicans on the board. So uh, uh, good for him. I I think Brandon Judd is great at his job, and he's an honest guy and is truly doing what he said, apolitical, just looking out for the border. Thanks for watching The Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.